a friend called Kenny. He's a really lovely chap. His older brother Alan is a bit of a prat. So when I heard he was engaged, I knew that I'd be asked by Kenny, the best man, to help make up numbers for the stag. And so we met in Alan's local, roughly half his mates, half Ken's, and agreed on beers and curry on the same night as the hens. And just as we were toasting our decision, we were joined by some bloke that Alan knew from work, who shouted, hello boys. He's a kind of total wanker who acts like he owns the pub and never gets his rounding, and his name was Nigel Grubb. Kenny's brother Alan Stagton, Kenny's brother Alan Stag, Kenny's brother Alan Stagton, Kenny's brother Alan Stagton. He asked what we were doing, so we told him of our plans. He said, that's far too boring for Al's last night as a free man. We said we'd got it sorted, but he laughed a red-faced laugh and said, this'll never do, lads. For Al, it must be Prague. We'll drink until we're senseless. We'll party through the night. Just leave it all to me, lads. I can sort us out cheap flights. I know the city well, he said. I've even got a mate who runs a little hotel. This is going to be great. Next morning I'd forgotten what we talked of in the pub until I got an email that came from Nigel Grubb. Kenny's brother Alan Stagton. Kenny's brother Alan Stagton. Kenny's brother Alan Stagton. Kenny's brother Alan Stagton. He said he'd got great news for us. The Stagton was arranged. The hotel and the flight were booked. We leave in seven days. The price was very slightly more than he had estimated. But as we had all been so keen, he'd gone ahead and paid it. He would be very grateful if we pay the full amount by close of play this evening into Nigel's bank account. I did not want to go and it looked expensive to me but apparently we voted by a huge majority. I couldn't let the side down and who knows, maybe it would turn out to be fun after all. Thanks to Nigel Grubb. Kenny's brother Alan Stagton. Kenny's brother Alan Stagton. Kenny's brother Alan Stagton. Kenny's brother Alan Stagton. It was not fun. It was bloody awful. The flight took 19 hours. We had to change in Warsaw. Our hotel turned out to be a backpackers hostel located five miles out of town, next door to a brothel. We saw a lot of lovely bars, which we did not go into. We spent half the night queuing for an 80s retro disco. The other punters were all gits, the music was all shite. We paid seven euros each for a can of Red Stripe. When Nigel suggested a strip club, I said, I'll just head back. Nigel went ballistic and said I was ruining the stag. So he made us all sing stag. Stag, 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 stag. He made us all sing stag. Stag, 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 stag. Kenny's brother Alan Stagton. Kenny's brother Alan Stagton. Kenny's brother Alan Stagton. Kenny's brother Alan Stagton. It was only one month later when we met at the reception that the bride informed us Nigel had never even had an invitation, and she got her calculator out while Alan was away and worked out that we'd all put in much more than Nigel paid. And she spoke to all the stags and found that all of us had been worried that we'd seem like spoil sports if we said we. We'd rather have a curry. Still, at least we stacked a bond in, and the best man's speech was funny. And at least we'd only lost a weekend and, well, a lot of money. And at least we hadn't gone along with the whole country getting stuffed by a lying, greasy bastard with a name like Nigel Grubb. Kenny's brother Alan Stagton. 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 Kenny's brother Alan Stagton.